Morning everybody, Joanna here again. So today I'm gonna make a ruffle top jumpsuit. It's really really easy. We're just gonna combine most of what we already know in tracing and a peplum and we're gonna look really fabulous. You need a little piece of elastic enough to like quarter inch elastic enough to stretch around the width of your shoulders. We're gonna I'm going to enjoy this tutorial this morning. So let's get going with the pan pan. So I have my this really really nice um pants here. I really love it. Of two different fabric. I'm gonna use this leopard print here for my peplum and this nice really rich chocolate brown knit for my um jumpsuit. Okay, so let's get cutting. So I'm gonna just cut the pants out first. I want you to give yourself some seam allowance when cutting give yourself enough seam allowance okay you watch what I did I skipped out I cut on the fold and I skipped cutting it open first because I want it I want the shape my scissors is really dull I want the shape of this pan so badly okay I want to get the shape of the scissors is not cutting as it should So this side will be the back and I'm just gonna finish cut this out flip the pants over and cut out the front stitch it together and um, I'll be back to start cutting the top and then we'll cut our peplum so we're gonna do this in stages so give me a few seconds and I'll be back okay so I'm back so we're gonna do the top part of our jumpsuit so what I did I had traced out a t-shirt um, using my little gift paper it's good to make your own patterns to her so you won't be just spreading a t-shirt all the time you have a little paper pattern to work with so what I'm gonna do is just fold this down so I'm gonna eliminate the neck and the shoulder and I'm just gonna get the under the armhole that's what we want and the shape in here okay for this I'm gonna give myself enough seam allowance because I need seam allowance to um, fold to do that uh, to do the other part so just give yourself an inch off now because there's no back or, in, or front as yet you can work really easily like this okay. Give yourself more seam allowance if you want. It doesn't have to. Because this would be from a a stretchy shirt. Right. You're gonna cut out two like these, and then um, I'll be back to cut out the peplum part, and then we're gonna put everything together. Okay, I'm back, so I'm ready to do my peplum for the top so I'm gonna measure just along my shoulders I'll get like 44 so give yourself uh, a few inches more okay so let me give myself like 10 inches extra okay So my fabric is folded in half so I'm gonna fold my tape in half 
Okay, that's one way. Then I'm gonna fold my tape again the other way. Right. So I get 27. Okay. So I want the circumference of here to be 27. Okay, so I'm gonna quarter it again. I'm gonna get 13 and a half. So 13 and a half is where I wanna cut. You just make your chalk mark. Yeah, 13 and a half is gonna fall. So we know here, okay? And then you take it, keep your tape right on the peak here, and you go down to 13 and a half, and you make a mark. 13 and a half, you make another mark. 13 and a half, you make another mark. So you show when you cut. So we're gonna cut back out to the same. So let's cut this out. Just follow your chalk mark. And now we want it like just about 10. Okay. Do it a little bigger and then we cut it off, okay? Okay, so let's make this pack one 12. Right. So from, from the middle here, we go down to 12 all the way. 12 here, make a chalk mark, 12 in the middle. This is going to be a midpoint. Do that. And you're gonna get one entire peplum going right on, okay? okay? So I look for my chalk mark. It's difficult for you to see here. I probably chose the wrong color chalk. But And I got this net on sale. Do you know how excited I get when I see fabric on sale? And I like to mix things so that it looks completely me. So this is actually the entire peplum. And when we Put it on top we run the elastic through you're gonna see how easy it is to put together so I'm gonna put together my jumpsuit and we're gonna leave this peplum for last okay so I stitched both of my pieces together so you should get something looking like this one is the front and one is the back so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put this together now you may notice I have this really old machine because my machine crashed and this old machine was given to me by my sister and it works even better than my newer model machine it's a Jaguar to bring back around memories of me learning to sew it made me remember my tailor who taught me a lot of tricks as well he's now no longer with us so okay let me just get this and machine so we're gonna face both pieces right sides together okay so that is that part I'm gonna finish it off and for the top all I did is just stitch from under the arm and I use this zigzag stitch to serge and when I'm finished with the pants it's just for us to put this part together and do a roll hem 
underneath the armhole fell be neat and just to add on the peplum and we're almost finished okay i'm back so i have a little problem to sort out with the peplum on top i did it with the um light net and it wasn't flouncy enough so i'm gonna change that and i'm gonna put this liner here it's a little more stiff as like a satin and i have my um press on we call it and this is gonna give me the flounce that i want so it's gonna i'm just gonna cut out cut this part out And what you do, I'll show you with a little piece. Your liner should have some dots. If you watch it, watch it get there's a glossy side. This glossy side is what you're gonna put down on your fabric on the wrong side, and then you're gonna pass the iron on it, and it's gonna get all stiff. That's how I'm gonna get the flounciness of the top of the um, jumpsuit. So I'll post two pictures for you. I'll post two pictures for you, one set with the light um, knit leopard print and the other set with, with this peplum hair. So you'll actually see two different, um, two different fabrics being cut. You can decide if you want it like an angel wing, that's without the, the, um, the, sheet, the lining, the press on lining, or if you want it flouncy, like how it's going to come out here. Okay, so this is how my ruffle jumpsuit came out. Now, if you notice, I had the press on. Wanted the fabric to give it a little more lift. But you will obviously see the pictures of the other, um, the leopard one without the, without the um, press on on, the, on top of it. So... This is Joanna saying stay happy, stay healthy and so up. Mm -hmm.